Hello and welcome back Super Mums. We're going to be talking today about the contentious issue of the phrase winging it. Now I realise I have brought this phrase up a lot in interviews and whenever I'm on live stream but I've never done a specific like video about it. This could be about to get me in a lot of hot water. As always, please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can help more mums enjoy their motherhood too. I passionately hate the phrase winging it when it comes to motherhood because I don't believe that any of us are actually winging it at all. I believe that using the phrase winging it is a way that women downplay their achievements. I am going to make lots of general statements in this. So yes, there are exceptions to the rule, but on the whole, women struggle with playing big. There are so many books trying to motivate us and inspire us to not do this. There have been massive studies in how men and women speak differently because women's language plays them down and plays them small and men's language does not. There is a lot of science and lots of research into this. I will link below the uh, play, I think it's either called Play It Big or Playing Big um, book down below that I absolutely love that really goes into the nitty gritty science of this. So if you want the actual technical like research to back up some of the things I'm saying, then read that book because I'm not gonna be going into all of it in this video because let's face it, you're busy, I'm busy, and we ain't got time for all of that. We see the phrase everywhere on, particularly on mum related stuff. You can get badges with it, you can get jumpers with it, you can get t-shirts with it. Uh, I even saw there's a mum brand that have bought our magazine and the magazine is called Winging It. Yet every article detailed on the front of that magazine is not about winging it. It's all about finding time or fitting in fitness or like weaning tips and stuff like that. None of it is about winging it. Now, if you're sitting there and going, yeah, well, I'm completely winging motherhood. Have you or your child got dressed today? Have you or your child eaten today? Then you have not been winging it. The basic day, basic level day, get child out of bed, teeth, and chill out, requires a certain amount of effort. You are not winging it. And when you feel exhausted at the end of that simple day where you don't feel like you did anything and you just say, oh, I'm just winging it, you are downplaying how much effort it took to do that simple day. The effort that it takes to just get up sometimes is enough. That's all we can give sometimes. And I don't want another woman to say, oh, I'm just winging it, because you are not. You are putting in so much effort and so much love and so much attention, be it to your child or looking after yourself so that you're capable of looking after your child. Even if you are late for everything, you're not winging it. I, I just wish I could wipe this phrase out of existence. And I think a lot of the brands that use this as in their sort of like clickbaity campaigns and things like that need to stop because they are doing a disservice to women did say this could probably get me in trouble because I follow a lot of those women and they have these amazing messages and then they downplay it by having a t-shirt on their website that says winging on it. Think about what that phrase actually means. Think about what that t-shirt actually tells the world. You're constantly seeing that and saying that it's gonna be hitting you somewhere inside. I did say it's controversial but I actively hate that phrase. The majority of the big brands that are out there portraying this winging it thing aren't. And this is a particular appeal to those big brands, those big followings that are saying, oh, we're just winging it. Because there is a mum at home looking at all you are doing and going, oh, how are they able to do that and winging it? I must be a complete failure. I say this with the same thing of when you have help, you should admit to you have help. I have a nanny for one full day and one half day a week. I have creche at the gym that I can use that I do once a week. I have a VA. I have someone that helps with some of my graphics and things, not all of them, but some of them. Um, the blog is a collaboration with usually three, sometimes four people in a month. I'm not doing this all on my own. You can't do it all on your own. 
like all of like running two businesses and a household and keeping on top of it. We have a cleaner. I may do all the tidying and all the organization, but the actual cleaning of the rooms once a week is done by someone else. If you are constantly putting out there that you're winging it and then you're also showing all these things that you achieve, gonna be really digging into someone too. And you may not care about that, but I do. I care about that. So I, I'm not winging it. I'm not winging a thing. I'm working really hard. I am putting in not just conscious effort. And I really hope that that mum on that really hard day where you feel like you've done nothing but scraped through, you've still not been winging it. And I am so proud of you for what you were doing. And I wish you could stop saying that phrase and be proud of yourself too. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember, that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. That's no one else, it's just you. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.